lecture analytic program. So let's start with the introduction part of the actual analytics. So what is the actual analytics? Actual analytic is a process of collecting and analyzing the actual data in order to improve the workforce performances. So actual analytics help us to give a better insight for the better performance. Now the question arises when we have the HR department what is the need for the HR analytic? So we we'll differentiate the HR and HR analytics. So what is HR? HR is a department in a business which is responsible for the things related to the employees or the workers. For example Hiring, then retaining, then compensation and benefits and the other things related to the employees. Right? Whereas the actual analytics help us to provide the data backend insight on what is working well and what is not. So that the organization can make a better and improved plan in effective manner. Right? So actual analytic will help us to make a better decision and it will work for the organization. Right? So most of the organizations already have the data that is routinely collected then what is the need for the specialized form of actual analytics or the analytics so let me tell you the data which we actually have unfortunately that data is a raw data right so this raw data on its own cannot give us the better insight. We have a large spreadsheet with a full of numbers and words. And without organizing or direction, this appear, this data appears meaningless. Right? So once the data is organized, then compare and interpret or we can say analyze this data will give us the valuable insight on the basis of that we can make an improved plan for the better productivity for the better performance right so along with this actual analytic help us to answer many questions like what is the pattern reveals in the employees like how many employees are joining how many employees are leaving what is the performance of the employees the level of their productivity their performances right the second question is how long does it take the hiring process? If the hire turnover, how long we will take the hiring process? Right? The third question is which of the employee is most likely to leave the company within a year? The, th the fourth question is learning and development. Like company are providing, the company is providing the learning development initiative. Whether they have an impact on the performance of the employees or not. So the fifth question is how many employees or the how much investment is required to bring the employees up to the fully productive level. So, to answer all these questions, many of the businesses are using 
not taking the help of the actual analytics. Right? So, we can take an example also. A company X, Y, Z. Or we can take an example of the a software engineering firm. The company has a high turnover and the company operating system is very low. The company is not operating at the fully productive level. Right? So, how much investment or time is required to bring the employees up to the fully productive level? But before that, what is most important that is to know about the causes of the high turnover. Reason or the causes of the high turnover. Once we reveal what is the reason behind the high turnover, only then we can reduce the turnover. And once the high turnover is reduced, the organization can generate more revenue and will be more productive in future. So, HR analytics basically give us the better insight for the future productivity or the performances. So, it's all about the HR analytics introduction part. I hope you guys learn a lot from this or it was a, it was a simple basic thing about the HR analytics.